Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Sanders Navignon Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to uh, do the part 2 of my uh, botnet controllers script programming. Okay. Now, but before that, let me uh, review what we have done in part 1. Okay, in part 1, what we have done is in our automation server, we have created a botnet Okay, so you are doing it by new then botnet interface. Okay, so this is now the botnet interface that I have created in part one. Okay, now let me see some information here in basic advanced. Okay, now botnet name. Okay, now just uh, accept what is being offered as default by the system. Okay. Now, after creating the interface and renaming it to whatever name you want, then you need to create the MSTP network. Okay, so MSTP network, this is master slave token passing. So we are going to use this to connect or physically connect our botnet controllers. Okay, so MSTP network, okay, let me show you the details of this. Okay, so meaning. It is using the RS485 port. As you can see, in my automation server, I have two ports, port A and port B. Okay, so here it is the selected one here is COM A. Okay, now what is important here is the MSTP baud rate. Okay, now before specifying the MSTP baud rate, make sure that your uh, magnet controllers can communicate through that speed. Okay. Now, actually, there are there will be several selections here. 9600 is the slowest or the slowest, the lowest speed. Then we have the 7600. Now, I'm just selecting 19200. Okay. So, I think uh, for the time being, I will use this one. But if you are in the project, you can try to uh, use this 19200. Then maybe uh, after some time, you can try it. You can use the uh, next high, uh, no, next, ha, ha, uh, no, next speed, the higher one, okay? So, for time being, I will be using this only 19200, okay? Then enhance mode through, then just accept what is being offered here by our server. Okay? Now, guys, what I have done here, because if you have a big project, a business project, if it is big, of course, you will be having several DTC panels, okay? Now, let's say in your MSTP network one, you will have you, you might have several DDC panels. So how are you going to organize your MSTP network? Now what I'm what I'm doing is I'm creating a folder. Okay, so new you can create new then folder then rename the folder. Uh, give a name. Let's say I I use here DDC one. So meaning uh, this is my DDC one and ground floor and the system that is being controlled and monitored by this DDC is twin exhaust fan. Okay, then maybe you can use a longer uh, description, but it's up to you. You are the BMS engineer. Then you can move inside this DDC folder all the DDC or the backnet controllers you previously discovered, discovered or learned. Okay. So uh, again, I will try to reiterate that when you are, uh, when all the backnet controllers are already installed in the site, so don't forget to take all the serial numbers. Because if you are doing the learning, because we have here the P3 device learn, okay, so this one, uh, when you learn all the DDC connected to your MSTP network, it will just show all the serial numbers okay so it's very important you have to get all the serial number then based on the serial number you have to take note okay this controller and this controller is for my twin exhaust fan and this controller with this serial number and this controller with this serial number is for my toilet exhaust fan and this controller and this controller and so on okay so you can create several folders as per the number of your DDC panel in that area, let's say in ground floor, you have two DDC panel. Then in mezzanine, you can uh, organize your DDC panel through the use of folder. Okay. Now here, <clears throat> what I'm having here is a B3624. Okay. Now let me show you here the advanced. Okay. So that is B3624. Okay. 
Now, actually, this B3624, we are using this for monitoring uh, equipment because it, is, it has only 24 universal inputs, okay? Now, B3804, this one is having four, okay, four digital outputs, then four analog outputs, then eight universal inputs. So, this one is very good for control and monitoring small equipment, okay, with several points. Now, if let's say eight, uh, eight universal input or channel is not enough, then you can add other controllers, okay. So, let's say if you, if you are using a big uh, system with more monitoring points, then you can use this one. There is also I think 608, B3608 with 8 universal inputs. So if you have only around more than 10, then you can use one B3804 and uh, B3608, okay? So as the BMS engineer, uh, if you are doing the, let's say you are part of a solution provider, if you are the one doing the takeoff or estimate or the costing for the project, then you have to select properly the uh, controller uh, appropriate to the system that it's going to control and monitor. Okay. Now, guys, uh, first let me show you. Okay, I will stop share. Then I just give you an idea. Okay. Uh, here I will share screen. Then I will share this one. Okay, guys, just to give you an idea of my automation server. Now, my automation server. In my automation server, I have two RS485 port here, okay? So the cable that you are going to use is RS485. Uh, basically, we are using Belden, okay? Now, uh, COM, COM A and COM B. Then here you will see the RS485 port. So COM A and COM B. Now, uh, you can use two communication ports, no problem. Now, for this, here, I connected my three backnet controllers in communication port A. Then as you can see, the controllers are already up because TX and RX are already light up, okay? Meaning it is already communicating to my uh, backnet controller. So this is my backnet controller, okay? So this is the communication uh, port. Now, guys, the communication protocol here is backnet MSTP, master slave token passive, okay? Now, you can just uh, try to read what is backnet MSTP, but it involves their talking meaning master slave so the token is being passed to all the slave okay so whoever has this the token it's time for uh, that controller to uh, give or transmit data okay anyway uh, try to read some information about mstp packet mstp okay so the back uh, the communication protocol is backnet mstp then the physical connection is bus topology Okay, so it is called also called daisy chain. Okay, so meaning from here, I have here two core cable. Okay, now actually you can use three core cable here because there is a shield. Okay, now so two core cable, then this cable will go to the first backnet controller. Then you will use another two core cable, connect at the same terminal. Okay, just watch out the uh, polarity, plus and minus. So you should not uh, uh, reverse the polarity because if you will make a mistake in the polarity, it will not communicate to automation server. Then from here, pull another cable going to the next one. Okay. Then actually the controllers, uh, the last controller, it has already an end of line resistor. Okay. So this is my system that we will be writing the script program. Okay. This is a simple uh system with two fans okay then i have here the as you know uh when we are writing the control logic program we need some information from the control panel okay so the information here i have around seven information here like ef1 auto run and trip ef2 auto run and trip and the fire alarm because if it is for an ventilation we need to uh, have a fire alarm signal so that when there is fire we will try to shut down this equipment also but anyway the fire alarm people they are installing let's say this is the control panel they will install here one controller control relay module that will cut the power supply to this control so that the uh, system will be off okay 
So again, uh, let me go back to the system. Okay, stop share, then I will share again the my system. Okay, so guys, uh, I think I have already given you the details about this backlight controller. So this will be the scope of part two, trying to explain to you the physical connection and some details of our backnet interface, MSTP network, and our controller itself. Okay. So for the part three, we will try to create the points in the controller. I will show you how you are going to create the points in the controller. Then we will start the uh, actual programming itself. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, please help me promote my channel and support it by subscribing. You can always click the notification bell. And also you can like this video, then uh, share and give comments. Again, Santos Camillion Jr. is not claiming any expertise. I'm just trying to share what I have learned from my previous project. Okay, and this is for beginners. What I'm always uh, stressing that my tutorials are for beginners. If you are an expert, this is not for you. These are for beginners. Okay. So once again, shout out to all the new uh, engineers who are wishing to join the field of building automation or building management system. Before I will end this tutorial, let me say God bless us all and bye for now.